Hello, Slim here with um, this is in virtual box, obviously, as you can see from the sign above. But uh, yeah, this is cinnamon, believe it or not. Yeah, this is Ubuntu cinnamon 22.04. And I thought I'll have a look at it. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, actually, because they've gone with snaps. I get it. OK, I get it that you, it's a community build and all that. And you want to get into the arms of Ubuntu. I understand that and canonical and actually get onto their list. Yeah, but at the same time, why, why, why be the same as Ubuntu? Yeah. Anyway, I've put my own theme on here. Um, well, kind of my own theme. I actually nicked uh, Linux Mint Dark, uh, Grey Dark, and I called it number two, and I got rid of the horrible undershoot lines. And Because uh, there's nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the undershoot lines. Um Apart from they're there and they just annoy the hell out of me. And after a while, after you right click around, it's usually to do when you alter your fonts, the size of your fonts or the your scaling. That's what it's there for is to prevent any thing not listing properly. But if you alter your um your fonts and whatever you will um, end up with it not listing. But I'll show you what I mean. All right. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, if I go into uh, fonts into here, uh, font selection, and I bought these up to, I don't know, 14.5. Okay. I'll bring it up to 14.5. Ubuntu regular 14.5. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, that's pretty pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not gonna have this on slight, I'm just I'm gonna have that on none. Okay. And we'll go to desktop font, which should be the same again anyway. The desktop font is fine. Um we'll have 14 on that. Document font is fine for the moment. I will change that around later because it's what this video is basically all about is if you're coming over to Linux for the first time and everyone's harped on about Cinnamon and you've gone for the Ubuntu Cinnamon desktop, um, I'm just going to show you some things that you can do to make it your life a whole lot easier. The problem is now is that snaps and flat packs have all been introduced into Linux and... It's personal choice, I guess, but for me, I hate them. Myself, personally, I really do hate them. And they shouldn't, they should not be. They shouldn't be, they just shouldn't be around. Not when you're old school like me. Where else are you going to put apps in? Well, keep them Debian. Because I can see in years to come that Ubuntu will become a Snaps would just be snaps. Won't be Debian anymore. I'll give the Cinnamon team, the Ubuntu Cinnamon team their due. At least they have Synaptic in on here. Thank goodness. There we go. That's so much better. So much better indeed. I can read that now. Good. Um, right. What we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing? There's some stuff that I've got in here. I'm going to documents. First things first, of course, because we've got the stupid Snap Store. Unfortunately, look, Snap Store, where everything just comes on down, way too big, takes ages to install, and I'm not happy for the fact. That Firefox, they've turned Firefox into a snap package now and that's all they're going to do. They're not going to, yeah, oh, disgusting, absolutely disgusted. And it's not Mozilla that's done that. It's Canonical that's done that. Yeah, they've they've made up their mind. They're not having it as a dev package anymore. I think that's disgusting. Have a 
having it as snaps. It takes forever to open. Um, the road that Canonical are going down is ridiculous. Uh, so we're going to get rid of it. I'm going to use this script that I've got here. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, I'm going to install... I'm going to install Z. Oh, there's also other stuff I've got to install as well. So let's just open up a terminal. That should open up. Yeah, lovely. And we're going to go sudo apt install. G Debbie for one thing. G Debbie. Ubuntu restricted extras. All the updates I've done. Ubuntu restricted extras. Ooh, if I can spare it. Restricted extras gives you extra stuff. Extras. Of course, you're going to need FFmpeg as well. Because that doesn't come with the extras. Unless it's already installed. I don't think it is. What else we're going to need? Uh, we we'll probably need NeoFetch unless it's already in, which I'm not sure. What else? Let me just um, bring this up a bit for you so that you can see NeoFetch. And if I bring this out a bit more, you'll be able to see it all on one line. There we go. Ay, 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 what else? Well, not a lot else, I don't think. FFmpeg, definitely, so that you can see thumbnails and stuff of your videos and stuff like that. That's basically why I put FFmpeg in. And also for making stuff like MP3s, MP4s, or whatever. All right, that'll do for now, I think. Gee, Debbie definitely need it on in. At least Synaptic Package Manager is in on here. I'll give them their due. At least they've got that in here. All right, I just put my password in. I don't think NeoFetch is installed. They might already have it. All no, that's all right then. Okay. And this is the Jammy desktop. We're going to get rid of the snaps, though in a minute now when you get to here always push the right arrow key and then push the left one over there it's like a dos box how it used to be how computers used to be just keyboard only um for picking out stuff that's what came up then a lot of people get confused on that did me when i first came over to linux back in 2009 Oh, yes. 2009, yes. That's when I first had a look at it. My brother introduced me to it. Um, it was the cusp of the um, uh, koala. Gnarly Nuttle or whatever it was called. Gnarly something. Nutty Narwhal? Yeah, Nutty Narwhal. It was the cusp of that and then into um, Lucid Links. I think it was anyway. I think it was that one. I might be wrong because that's N, isn't it? Nutty Narwhal is an N. So which one am I thinking of? The one before. The one before Lucid Links. Because they went into alphabetical order. And that was good home two days. Miss those days. Miss those days a lot. You lot who are coming over to Linux for the first time, you've got it cushy compared to how we used to have it. We used to have it bad. Nothing worked and we all wished that it was like Windows. The amount of times we all said, oh, I wish that it was like Windows, wish it was as easy as Windows. Then all of a sudden we got babied in here in Linux. Back in 2020, I believe it started babying. Babying us all down. Right, yeah, there's that then. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I can do that in a minute. 
Let's just put Z in. X Reader won't install, although I will try and find. Oh, what am I doing? Really? Really? Uh, you would think that I'm an expert. I should be an expert by now. No, we don't open up with that. Other application. We're going to set this as default. There we go. G Debbie. Yeah, nothing wrong with G Debbie. All dependencies are satisfied. Let's install a bugger then. Yeah. Even though this is uh, for 20.04, but there you go. And it's going to install. And there it is. It's all done. And we just tick that off. Excellent. Then we can get Z in there. I prefer Z over get it. Used to be that I prefer get it. Weird how things change, isn't it? There we go. And we just install that. It needed those other dependencies. That was all. And it'll install. Lovely. It's just that I needed that. I, I prefer that. I just prefer it. Prefer it, I do. Now, here's a bit of news for you. I'm actually going on through my focus right this time, and I'm using free and open source software in order to get a nice bass on my voice and no um, SEs and stuff like that. And just about a nice volume for my voice too. And I'm, you know, I'm not right on top of my microphone or anything. And hopefully the recording's coming on out okay. I'm hoping. I did do a video yesterday, but um, my voice came out. I was like, Darth Vader? It's very strange. And everything was really slow. As in, my voice was slower than what it is anyway. I'm very deep. Yeah, very, very strange. I don't know what the hell happened there, but I, I wasn't using pulse uh, effects at the time. The only drawback with using pulse effects is that it interrupts in OBS's um, desktop sounds when using the microphone on through it. So it's like, oh, what, what the hell is going on now? Uh, because if you have it all aimed at OBS, then you're not, um, I don't know. I, I think it's all going to get muddle mixed, whatever. Anyway, there's that done. Next thing to get is the X-Viewer. I do like X-Viewer for a looking at your thing. This can go straight on in. This is brilliant. This just goes straight on in. No messing. It's just that we haven't got the peak. Unless it's out now, I don't know. I haven't looked. Uh, I'm not even on 22.04 yet, because so I'm waiting for Linux Mint. I'm waiting for Linux Mint to bring their thing on out. I'm also waiting on... Uh, which I hope that they do the mini ISO... Uh, as well i'm also waiting for that if they ever make one which i hope they do i really hope they do for 22.04 um and then that give you the user the choice of whether you want snaps and all the other crap that comes along with it in there excellent i'm so pleased with that let's uh, just bring up terminal and get rid of uh, let's zoom in again shall we boing, 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 boing. um pseudo apt remove get it get it and uh, it'll get rid of it hopefully like so and off it goes there it's gone thank goodness for that thank you very much now I'm going to keep this up a moment And uh, what I am going to do, we've got X Viewer, well, X Reader doesn't go on in, but I think I know as to why. So don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, we need to go into documents now. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's me colors and that for that. That's in there. Let's 
in get rid of snaps and we're going to open with other application can I have it as that and we're going to set that as default I don't want it opening up with LibreOffice every single time LibreOffice does take a while to open even as a dev file so uh, you know oh hello are you going to open or are you going to be a pain right now what I should have done was kind of bring my other uh, things on in. I'll do that in a minute. What I can do is we can, we should be able to on here, be able to zoom on in. What's the uh, view? Edit preferences. Under file, no. You don't want a side panel. Full screen, wrap word, you can't. Oh, I went robot here then. Uh, you can't. Um, let's bring that. Let's just bring this up. Like that. That's better. That's better. You can kind of read that now. If I just bring that window up, you will see what I'll be doing. And now I don't know if uh, flat packs on here or not. I don't think it is. I think they've just gone. I think they've just gone the uh, the route of. Um, Pseudo app purge snap D get the hell out of my my life basically I hate snaps snap packages waste of flipping time get rid of and the Firefox snap has gone oh no what are you going to do well we're also going to get rid of the snap Get rid of this as well, because I think it's on here. It must be. It must be. Also going to get rid of that. Yep, get rid of. Thank you very much. Get rid of the whole thing. I think they just went with snaps, didn't they? Yeah, cannot. Yeah. I don't want flat pack. Uh, uh, right, so that's that's now saved a lot of room. Yeah. That's, that's now got rid of that horrible snap store, yeah? Let's go and yay, it's gone. Gone forever. Forever. No more. Yay. So, you know, that's one thing you can do to get rid of uh, snaps altogether because you don't need them, all right? We've got app images now. If you want to try out... Um, if you want to try out a piece of software, but you don't want to install it, you just want to try it on out, then use an app image. So much simpler. So much simpler. Right, now while we're in here, because we haven't got, of course this won't open now, because uh, we can get, we can unpin that from there, because it's gone. It's gone. Gone forever. Which is good. So, with that in mind, we can get rid of this. Now, <clears throat> we can get Libre Wolf on in. We'll open that up with text editor. There we go. And these are the... commands that we need in order to install it. And bring this right on up, like that. Put them in one at a time if you can. It's massive, I know. It's like looking at the cinema screen now, isn't it? On that, yeah. Okay, and we go copy. Uh, 
and we'll paste that in there. There was other things I had to bring on over. That's fine. It accepted it. You know. We'll keep this window there, am I? Dee 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 dee. And we'll just do this one. Pop that in there. And we go point like that. That's fine. Here we got this one. This tells it to get it, basically. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. And it also adds the GPG key as well. In case you're wondering. There we go, sudo apt update. Get that in there. Why have you made it so big? Ah, oh, well. Don't know about you, but I'm going blind in my old age. Oh, yes. There's some more to be upgraded. Two packages can be upgraded. Oh, really? Well, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Oopsie daisy. Let's just install that. I don't know why it's griping like this and it's saying that uh, two packages can be upgraded. Upgrade them then. Don't bother me. Oh, I don't know. If I just push up. It says mutter. Yeah, well, why don't you upgrade then? Pseudo apt. Upgrade. Following packages have been kept back. Why? Why is that then? Keep them back then. Two not to upgrade. All right, well, keep them back then. Don't keep on that I can upgrade. Well, I keep on that I can upgrade when you don't want to. You want to keep mail back. So keep mail back then. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right, we have uh, Libre Wolf installed. Now, what I like to do, which I will show you in a minute with the uh, Libre Wolf, I've actually made an HTML. If you want, if you want the code that I've got uh, for DuckDuckGo, because they've already got DuckDuckGo in their search engine anyway, but um, I will show you what you can do with this homepage that I've created and whereabouts to put it on your operating system. Yeah, okay. Obviously, you put it in with LibreWolf where that is installed. Now you might think that it's in lib, uh, user lib, like Firefox is. No, it isn't. Um, it's not in there at all. It's actually in user share. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, that's very well, because I've got to bring that on over. I can get rid of this now. Let's get rid of this. I don't need that on there. Uh, yeah, so I've got other, there's a few other things to sort on out, but you get my gist, can't, don't you, eh? That it looks and feels better now without snaps. Yeah, it, uh, it'll look, I'll have to re... Or you have to re... Um, you have to. Yeah, you do. You have to reboot after you've got rid of snaps. That's what you're meant to do. So we'll do that now, I guess. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, thank you. Oh, you disappeared, do you? Oh, I know what that is, I think. Just uh, restart for me, can you? Yeah, thank you very much. I think I've got one of the themes... Um, Thingy, did you get on there? Have you? Yeah. Yes. I do believe I have. I've got it kind of doobie what's it. Thingy, did you get on there? Are you going to restart or not? Looks like you're just thinking about it. I think it'll get there in a minute. This is uh, 22.04. Um, 
I don't know if they've had a lot of updates to this. I don't know. I reckon they ought to upgrade the actual um, ISO. Oh, dear. Oh, that took ages, isn't it? That took ages. What's going on, man? Well, it's getting rid of all those other drives. That's what it was doing, I think. Those drives of snaps. Yeah. Um, ugh. Hate snaps. No need for them. But like I say, in years to come, I can see Ubuntu turning into a snap operating system, as in everything made out of snaps. No longer Debian. And that would be horrible. That would be very horrible indeed. Come on then. Go straight in there, please. There we are. So all those snap packages should be gone now. Yeah, they're no longer queued up there. They've all gone. Um, and we get this stupid keyboard thing, and I can't for the life of me find whereabouts you are. I'll just quit it then. I don't like it there. I don't like it. I don't want it there. Thank you. I don't like it. Uh, I will show you the theme that I got in on here. Um, while I'm here. And we will, uh, yeah, I nick Mint Y off of uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, of course. Uh, my, these are my ones, these are my preferred icon theme. They're light, they're fluffy, they just get on with the job. Um, smooth is the name of my theme that I use, and it's Mint Y Dark. Grey 2. Um, this is part of my theme. This is what this part is part of smooth. This grey here. And also the black bit inside there is mine. Yes. And this part is actually lit mint Y. But it just works. Looks a whole lot better than that horrible yar Yaru or whatever it's called. I think so anyway. But I'm being biased now, and I yeah, being up myself. Sorry about that. Don't mean to be. Ah, uh, right. So let's bring this down to half screen. Let's bring this down to that, and I shall have a sip of coffee because I've got a nice cup of coffee just over here. You can't see where it is because I haven't bothered with my camera today, but soon I will. I haven't bothered having a shave, so I thought, well, no. You don't want to see me with a... I look like Cousin Nick at the moment. Um, do -do 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 -do. What were we doing? Yes, so I'm going to bring over my home folder that I use. Need a stuff for XFCE. I've got a Libre Wolf homepage. Yay! My own one that I made up in HTML. Well, I actually nicked the script off of off of uh, off of Mark Greaves. Actually, that's another thing of Mark Greaves I wanted to bring on over with me. So that's what I done. I nicked the script off of him, but I altered it completely. Um, so I always used it what he had in in Peppermint. Um, yeah, I need to open up this. I just altered it a bit and put my own spin on it. Altered the colours around of it. This is Libre Wolf. So I'm just going to transfer that on over to there. I should have done this to begin with. I'm not a professional. I'm just a user. I'm just a normal bloke living in a normal world. I'm not a superstar on YouTube and don't want to be. All right. If you like my content, please feel free. If you really want to, you can subscribe if you want to. All right. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, well, a few weeks ago and a few months ago, you've been saying do not subscribe because you don't want to be part of that clan. Yes, that is true. But I I don't know. I just want to see how many subscribers I can get now. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts. Swings and roundabouts. So please subscribe if you want to. Don't mind. Either way, you don't have to. If you like my content, like it as well. If you don't, don't. 
if you don't watch it, don't and whatever. I don't promote this channel at all. I don't promote it. I don't promote it at all. I don't go on to Facebook or any other other book to promote it. I don't do any of that. Um, I like making content. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to cut this here file here. And we can... We can um, let me just go boing like that now. I cut that, didn't I? I did. Let's cut that. Let's go on into file system. Let's go user share. And it's called Libre. Libre. We need to go down to the letter L. JK Rolling. No. JK L. Libre Wolf. We go on in here. We just open it as a root. So we can. It's a right click. Open as root. I'd rather do it this way. It's the only way you're going to be able to add. I mean, you can use a terminal, but it's. Power users will want me to use the, the terminal. And they're probably screaming at me. I could have done that in one, in one, in one fell swoop. In, in the terminal. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not a power user. I'm just a user. I'm just a user of Linux, all right? Please. Oh, I know. Oh, it doesn't matter. Won't bother. Um, so that's in there now. It's all you do. Now that you're in there, you open that up in here. Here's my home page. And we just go open up with Libre Wolf. Yeah, so you open up with Libre Wolf. Dun, 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 dun. And there it is. Then all you do, you can go here, like so. Copy that. Come up into here. You've already got some um, uBlock Origin in here. You see, the people out here, this community run. See, this is free and open source. Everything's free and open source on this channel. I'm no longer using. My, uh, Windows anymore uh, won't have to um, I'm going to be using a mixer soon that'll be plugged straight on into my focus right and coming on out of there into my computer um, I won't have to use pulse effects anymore either because uh, I'll be able to use the mixer for all the bass and, and everything else and I'll have a perfect, perfect vocal, I mean I've got a pretty pretty good now I think Pretty good now. now. Let's go into settings anyway. I do. I go off on one. I do go off on one. And I apologise about that. I'm not professional at this. Don't want to be. Don't want to be professional at doing stuff. Oh, I'm going to go custom URLs. Custom, mate. Yeah. And we go in there and we paste that in there. That's now all saved away. Is there anything else that I do in here? No, well, no, not really. Because if you go to um, search... The great thing about it is that they're already on DuckDuckGo. Yay! And they've. the great thing about Libre Wolf is that they don't use anything to do with dun, 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 Google. Yeah, so all your search is going to be done in DuckDuckGo. Yeah, so which is brilliant. 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 I hope to God that the DuckDuckGo people do make their own browser for Linux. Yeah, because they're looking into making their own browser at the moment. Um, I haven't heard anything else about that. It would be nice if they made it for Linux. You know? Why... Why make... That? You know, why make a browser if you're not going to support Linux as well? Doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that was an impression of a train. Mm -hmm. <sighs> British Rail. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you there. Or we'll get you. Ah, right, okay. Come off of there. There we are. Nice picture of a wolf. I made the background up myself. And if you want this script, let me know. If you want it, I'll give it to you. I'll give it away. Maybe. 
There you are. Nice. There's some ways that you... Yeah, and this will open up really, really quickly. If I add this... Um, yeah, if I just add this to here for the moment. We'll pin to panel. Pin to panel. That will just come off of here. And now when you open up that... Ta-da! It's there straight away. Because it's a blasted deb file. That's pretty quick, isn't it? And for a virtual box as well, you've got to remember. Plus I'm recording. Um so you know I'm I'm recording the whole of the of the screen as uh you know. I mean that's pretty darn good, isn't it? I think so. Quicker than what I normally would open. Get what I mean? Because people gripe about Firefox or Libre Wolf. Oh, it's not fast enough. I'm sorry, but if you really want to be Google boys and girls, then go ahead, be Google boys and girls. You can do it in Firefox, because Fire, um, Firefox did team up. They had to make their money somehow. You know, for these um, free apps and stuff that we're getting in the open source, you know, open source software has got to be funded somewhere. Um, people go out their way and their spare time. It's like the operating systems themselves, your Linux mints and all of that. To keep them going, they have to, um, they have to rely on either donations or making their own apps uh, within the operating system. You know, you want these operating systems and, and, and apps to run. If you want Firefox to keep on going, you're going to have to donate to them. It'd be great if they could earn enough to be able to pay their staff. But it's so nice to see open source software like LibreWolf and that, a community-based one based on Firefox, but without the Google in, inside, yeah? With a few things that are added already, like your yeah, uBlock Origin. Fantastic. Really, really good. Anyway, yeah, I think I'd do it for this one. Was there anything else that was... Oh, I was going to tinker around the terminal and make it look pretty uh, with the um, NeoFetch. I suppose I could leave that to another day. But yeah, that's uh, that do for this part anyway, because there was something else that I wanted to do, but that'll be in another part. Thank you so much for watching. That is it from me. I don't know how long we've been going now. How long have I been going? Oh, my word. 41 minutes. I'm going to have to cut this down, ain't I? going to have to cut this down. Cut it down. Cut it. Cut it. Oi. Cut it. Mate. going to have to cut this down altogether. That is way too long. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me. Bye for now.